Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have m square over 5 is equals to 5 over m square and we solve this problem for the values of m. Here we find all the roots of this equation. Okay, so uh, now the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to uh, cross multiply the terms. So we multiply this 5 with this 5 and we multiply this m square with this m square. So uh, after multiplication of these terms it will be written as m square multiplied by m square is equal to 5 multiplied by 5. And now you see here the bases of these two terms are same so we add its exponents so when you add its exponents it will become here 2 plus 2 becomes 4 and we multiply 5 with 5 so we write it as 5 square so further in the next step we move the term from right hand side to the left hand side so uh, it will be written as so this is m to the power of 4 uh, and we write it as m square and its whole square so we break this 4 as in this form and we move this 5 square in the left hand side and it will becomes minus 5 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now further in the next step here we need uh, to apply the nice algebraic formula so you know about that uh, if we have uh, a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this algebraic formula uh, we write uh, the left hand side of above equation as in this form because you see here uh, the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so here we just uh, substitute the values of a and b into the right hand side of this equation as so according to this formula we write it as this is uh, a minus b here our a is m square minus our b is 5 only into uh, we have a plus b so again our a is m square and plus our b is 5 and this whole equation is equal to 0 and now further in the next step we divide uh, this equation into the two cases the first case is we write uh, m square minus 5 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write m square plus 5 is equals to 0 and now here uh, we first focus on this case and in this case uh, here uh, we again apply the al above algebraic formula so according to this we write this uh, 5 as in this form this is m square minus we write this 5 as square root of 5 whole square is equals to 0 and now we again use this formula and we write uh, this term as uh, this will becomes here m minus square root of 5 into m plus square root of 5 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we again break this equation into the two cases the first is we write m minus square root of 5 equals to 0 and the second case is we write m plus square root of 5 is equals to 0. So here we move this minus 5 to the right hand side and it will be written as m is equals to square root of 5 and from here we get our m is equals to minus square root of 5 so from this case we get the two roots of the given equation are m is equals to plus minus square root of 5 so these are the two real roots of the given equation which we get here from first case and uh, here we move uh, backward and we again solve uh, the second case so this is the our second case and in second case we first move this 5 to the right hand side and it will be written as m square is equals to minus 5 because this is plus 5 when we move in the right hand side it will becomes minus 5 
and here uh, we apply a square root on both of the sides in order to find the values of m so uh, we will apply this square root on both of the sides and now you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here m is equals to here you remember one thing is that when we apply square root on both of the sides then we write here plus minus sign any one of the side and uh, here we have this is here we uh, separate the square root sign on both of these values negative 10 and 5 uh, so we write it as square root of 5 into this is square root of minus 1 and we a uh, variable know about that the square root of minus 1 is equals to iota and we get here m is equals to square root of 5 into iota okay because this is square root of minus 1 is equals to iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation so finally we have the four roots of the given equation are these are the two real roots and these are the two complex roots of the given equation so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos